great, is he? What's the great? Don't you know nothing from nothing? It's his title, the great Orlando. It's the same as being Duke of Clarence, only better. And of course, whomever marries him becomes Lady Great Orlando. You can't marry him, he's a human. Why not? Because, because it'll come to no good, that's why not. <laughs> I wish the crow man was here, he could explain it better. Perhaps we should send for him, and then when he's explained to me why I shouldn't flutter my pretty eyelids at the great Orlando, although for the life of me I don't see why I shouldn't, you can explain to him why you've pinched his wheely thing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, perhaps you're right, perhaps I'll uh, uh, take all these here cookie nuts. Very much great. Yeah, of course I could have done it myself, uh, but, but I strained my head, you see. Strong and silent. Why shouldn't he be strong and silent? That's he earns his wages, isn't it? And talking about wages, Aunt Sally, what about that cup of tea and a slice of cake you and I was going to have? Oh, very well. Well, meet me in front of the fortune teller's booth when the big hand on the church clock's like that. And the little hands like that. Half past twenty-two. Right on, Sally. I'll be there. Half past twenty-two, Aunt Sally. What about it, my man? Tea time. Excuse me, this poor man would like a penny for a cup of tea and a piece of bread and butter. I've just had my fortune told and she said I'm going to marry a silent man with a shiny head and live off chocolates for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> 